some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a live stream that involved a number of content creators, including myself, Frauded Wrangler, uh, Big West Criminal Watch, Frauded or Reaper, Frauded or News Network, uh, Corrections 101, and a number of others. And uh, upstate New York audits decided to show up. Well, he's called New York Public Tour now. He wants to give his side of the events of what happened recently at a local bar where he ended up going to the emergency room due to uh, one of his audits. However, it ended up being a hilarious showing considering that he admitted to having less than an 8th grade education and that uh, he was wanting to be a teacher so he could teach everybody everything he knows, which doesn't appear to be that much. Now, he was on there for a good two hours before everybody started going to bed because, you know, it was pretty late. So I'm going to have to divide it up into several parts because, you know what, this is a pure piece of comedy gold right here because you get to witness the kind of stupidity that only a low-tier frauditor like him can show. So without further ado, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Behind stage, you guys want me to bring him on up? I don't care. Yeah, okay. yeah, I don't care. So, guys, we got uh, apparently I'm a oh, pussy, yeah, but whatever Frater that means. Network, yeah, get mm -hmm. in here, Frauder News Network. You missed it. I wish you would have been in here earlier. We had CRA audits in the live chat. Now we got another update. He's fraud. Well, that's okay, sister. Like I tagged in for you. I, I tagged in for you, Miss Cupcake. Of course, News Network, you can join the panel anytime. Anytime you can join my live. Shout out to Frauder News Network. Yay. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Hey, beautiful. Hey, everyone. How are you doing? You I'm good. CRA? How are you? Well, I'm better. CR, I'm better in CRA. Yes. He's somewhere getting a diaper change and needing a safe space. <laughs> He's in the corner sucking his, sucking his thumb right now. Yeah, we forgot to give him a safe word. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Okay, sorry I missed the um the CRA interview. I was I wasn't on my computer. But I'm here now. That's all good. That's okay. You randomly joined our live and just hopped yeah. on it. Now we have Upstate in here. Yay, fun. <laughs> well, I wanted to hear, you know, the opinion of a real New Yorker, so. Hello, Upstate. <laughs> Welcome to the show. What's, What's going on, Upstate? I'm a... Give your forward. opening statement. <laughs> I love my brother. You, got, you got a minute and a half. Go. A minute and a half for what? Give you your guys, statement. I'm, what do you want to say? Wes is the one who's been wanting to bring me on panels, you know, to, to, to ask questions or whatever you guys want to do. I mean, I'm here. I'm here to answer. I mean, why do you want to be here? Like, what do you want to? What do you? What do you want to prove here? I didn't mm -hmm. say I wanted to be on. Well, Big West is the one who's. You guys are the ones who've been doing videos on me. You know, talking crap. Do you about, want to defend yourself? I made one video of you at the bar. What do you guys, yeah. I mean, what do you guys want to know? What do, you, what do you got questions about? What What happened at the bar? Um, in the first place. Yeah. Um. Well, they came out harassing me, and I defended myself. I'm a grown man. <laughs> What, Define cool. harass. Saying, yeah, what were they saying? What What were they doing? Yeah. They were saying oh, to harass oh, you? Calling me, sex of, calling me sex offender. Um, Are you claiming at the school? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I was a sex offender, don't you think you could find that out? It's, it's, I, it's all, I don't know anything all. about you. This is the first time I've even heard of you. So okay, I my, name, my, name is Matthew, my name is Matthew Merritt. Okay. So you can look it up all you want. If If, if people want to claim that I'm a sex offender. There's a public registry. Hey, um, hey let, let's try to keep it PG. I don't want to talk about oh. topics like that too much. But uh, well, I was asked, so I answered. A lot okay, of people so don't here's... know much about you. Do you want to tell us why you got into auditing? Oh, I just... Well, to, to begin with, my channel is not like any others. Um, I have how many? Oh, I'm going to say close to 100. Yeah, videos. that's what we all hear. All in places the like the post office, the they all seem the same to me. The court buildings, you know, clerk's offices, all that. And I've never once been asked to stop recording. I've never once been asked to leave. I've never once been given an issue by a government official in any of my videos. What makes you what tyranny are audit? you? What? Yeah, why? What tyranny are you exposing doing your auditing? I never said I was. Then why 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 do it? 
Because I'm allowed to. Because the government officials that I record that a allowed. Listen, response. What did you? What made you? What prompted you to start doing it in the first place? Education for myself and others. Have you been educated? Have I been? I, I learn every yeah. day. Where did you get your undergrad degree from? Never said I did. Did you graduate high school? I have to have I have to have a graduate's degree in order to go out and learn stuff. No, but you're saying you're out to educate other people. What's your educational I, uh, credentials? I don't have any eighth grade dropout. Well, dude, in the United States, you have to have a bare minimum of a bachelor's degree to be able to be a professional educator, like a teacher, uh, where you can teach in a actual class and go through training in a traditional college setting where you learn uh, the uh, skills needed to deal with students, such as classroom discipline, learn how to use state standard tools to help you in your uh day-to-day -day activities, uh, learn lesson planning, go through ethics training courses, just to name a few other things. I mean, it is extensive training. Or you can go through Texas Teachers of Tomorrow to get those same skills if you did not go the traditional route. So, dude, if you want to become a teacher, you are far, far from it. So let's continue on and listen to the more of a stupidity as this shining example of the Dunning-Kruger effect speaks. But eighth grade, school, did you say? Listen, I, sorry, I didn't hear that. Did you say eighth grade? Correct. Okay. Um, but you're going to teach because, others. Because I don't eighth have grade uh, dropout a high school education wanting to be an educator. Means that I can't teach uh, something. No, I don't believe that. I th I don't have. Okay. A, I mean, I don't. I don't have a master's a or a doctorate, and, and, and I teach people and, on my channel every day. And you've um, never heard. You've never heard me act like I know everything, or like I know the law or the Constitution or anything like that. I'm learning every single day. I've never grown up with the Constitution in my life or law in my life like that. But I'm learning, and I am absolutely teaching. They may be. But small if you don't know it, how can that. you teach others? If you I know enough know of it. it. I know. I know enough. enough. What's enough? To what do you define something. as enough? Just the First Amendment is the only thing I know. Absolutely. At the moment. Do you do you monetize your videos? Okay, you only know the First Amendment. Uh, that's not exactly enough to know about the Constitution, considering it has 27 amendments and uh, seven articles that define the government. No, oh, I don't think you're exactly qualified to teach anybody any, about anything about the Constitution, if that's what you want to do. But, yeah, I don't think it's going to work out for you. Because, you know what, uh, like I said, Dunning-Kruger effect. You know just enough to be dangerous, but no, you don't know enough to really understand the subject. My channel is monetized, but I have not received a dime. <laughs> Why Why do you keep doing it then? I don't understand. So, like I said, from the, because I'm allowed to. Because the government officials... <laughs> it's not an listen, answer. See? And now you laugh. You're not going to let me finish. Or no, finish go ahead. Let, let him finish. Because the people that I record allow me to. Not because I feel that the Constitution allows me to. But the people that I record do not care. What makes you different than the other auditor channels? Because I don't force my opinion on other people i'm not out there um trying to gain attention you know like going into places that i know i'm not supposed to be okay stuff like that like i said i don't go to a building to record just because i feel the constitution gives me that right i do it because the government officials in those buildings allow me to they don't care that i record okay. them now like i said i don't know anything about your channel i'm just consider me new. I'm new here. Uh, does somebody else who have, who has watched his videos know about him? Do you want to fill me in on what his channel is about? I can in, tell you what's your, up. No, I'm asking somebody else who's not you to give me their perspective. All right, hold on. Well, uh, do you want to? I I seen one video that he did of a at a bar, and there mm -hmm. was like 13 or 14 people in there. A bunch of dudes tried to fight him, and I reacted to the video. And ever since he's followed me, I haven't seen any of your other videos that you did uh i'm kind of curious what what happened at that bar like when the the dude ended up coming to your house or something you said you live right around the corner from that correct like i said i was only out there to record the intersection uh the same thing i did for the past three days before that i go out do a little live stream for 20 minutes talk to my subscribers you know maybe answer some questions or whatnot 
Um, everybody, everybody wants to come at me and say that I was there to record the bar. Yeah, you know, if I was there to record the bar, why wasn't the bar in focus on my camera? You know, why wasn't and I? It was. It was. It wasn't. Both bars, the whole intersection was on my camera. I was literally recording the whole intersection, not the bar. You, you literally focused on the bar. You went up to the bar. After, yes, you did. After they approached me, called me sex offender, and calling me, claiming that the schools got closed down, put, got put in lockdown because of me. Oh, well, that why I was were they calling you sex offender? So that's, just, that's a thing. Why what were they? What time of day was this? Oh, I don't know. It was late. Like, early well, evening. So you right were here. filming, was it daylight hours? Yeah. You were like filming said, the school during daylight hours? Is that what, what I'm understanding? No, 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 no. No, I, you never seen me record a school crash in there. So okay, well, I didn't. Like I said, I haven't seen it, and it sounds and, and like somebody the, said there was a school there. And that's the issue. The people are accusing me. They said that the school got put in lockdown because I was recording the school. But you said there lies. was no school there. Correct lies. And then, like I said, sex offender. That's lies. Uh, claiming that I've been evicted from multiple locations. That's a lie. I've been evicted one time. That's all on Facebook, all public records, all those evictions, all those violations are posted. And these are people in real life that were calling you these names? Correct. How do they know you? Well, it's not a very big area. I mean, I've lived here my whole life, 36 years. Is there a reason why they would make up lies about you? exactly this you know to start a big old problem that you guys are gonna push at me and hate listen you guys are could it oh, possibly like a but yet could it possibly after, be because they don't want to be recorded well they shouldn't have you know why did they draw the attention to themselves if they didn't want to be recorded i wasn't out there recording them you were I, out there I live want, streaming you said right i mean the intersection talking to my you, you, what you put it like i was you know, no, recording them, really, and I was like focusing on them. I'm trying to understand. Them. You said you're out there to educate people. What was educational about this intersection that you were at? Was there a special intersection, uh, or this? That was just totally random. Like I said, it was just a totally random live stream. My children were actually in the library, a hundred feet away. Uh, they were returning books. I decided to jump out of the car for 15 minutes while they returned books. Talk to my subscribers, and they came out. Call me sex offender, so I defended myself. These are people yeah, that because that's you. not weird. Hear me, hey, Kate, hey, Kate. Correction. Let me ask something. Hey, did you at any time with your uh, con your confrontation that happened at the bar? Did you at any time tell the patrons of that bar that you were going around checking drivers to see if they were sober enough to drive home? I absolutely triggered them. Did you say those words to them? I said I was looking for drunk drivers while laughing about it. Yeah. And then no. And you, no this, 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 yeah, well. do, do, have you ever have you ever have you ever do you drink? Have you ever been a drinker? Uh, okay. when, when I was younger. Okay, let me ask you this question. Um, do you feel that when you were younger drinking, do you feel like you made the best decisions, logical decisions while you were drinking? Probably not. Okay, so knowing that and knowing that you don't drink now, do you, in hindsight, maybe think that it was probably a bad idea to go triggering a bar full of in the absolutely. For cocktails? Ab absolutely. You like think said, that was a great idea? For what? Absolutely. Use? Listen, like I said, did I say something that maybe I shouldn't have said? Yes, absolutely. Uh, no well, problem. That goes without saying. Well, listen, so you think I, what you did, hang on, you think what you did. What after you went and pissed off all those officers and be, or all those people at the bar, and then because you had officers out there and you had your camera on, you you know you could your little ego had got triggered. So you, as you were leaving, you had to scream out your address and then tell them. It basically you invited them to your house, to the place where your wife and your children live, and you invited drunk people who are probably not in the best frame of mind to come to your house. Or a physical confrontation, the same home that your wife and your kids live in. It, see, that's you see, thought that's that was a good you, idea in hindsight. See, that's where you lost that. They already knew where I was at before I even went down to the bar. Yes, okay, I gave so that. I lost I, when I, I said that I heard you I, tell them to you invited them to your home, the home that your freaking family gonna, lives for are, a confrontation. Are you gonna let me speak? You go ahead and answer his question. Like I said, I didn't give nobody my address. I told them I lived around the corner on Peck Street. 
where they already knew I lived. The first words out of their mouth were talking about. So the, the day we, we moved in here, I had put security cameras up to show people that if they come to my house to start problems, you know, they're going to be on camera. And the lady that lives across the road just happens to own one of the bars. So they already knew from the day we moved in where I live. I was only confirming them. I am a grown adult. Call, and these grown adults at the bar were talking trash. So I called them out on it. I am a grown adult. I called more grown adults out. You, your actions don't dictate that you're a grown adult. If you're bringing trouble to your wife and child, your job mm -hmm. as a man. There was is no to trouble for my wife and child, children. You, was, you directed, children. listen, stop, let me talk. You directed <laughs> drunk people to the home where your wife and children live, correct? No, not correct at all. Okay, so you you did not say I live around the corner. Yeah, you it, just it, said you said that. Does you, your wife and kids live around the corner with you? Twist, it's being twisted though. My my family, my my kids and shit, they don't have nothing to do with anything at all. You they don't bring the to your home. Drunk people for a confrontation. Them being inside that's how, how, twisted, that, that's a fact. how they are being inside my home. I didn't say inside your home. I said to your home. And you're saying that I'm twisting it. No, I, I didn't twist anything. All I did. Like I said, I'm a grown adult. What you said. Said. You're not sounding like a grown adult. Yeah. Your actions don't don't say that. The fact is, you are a grown man, and it is your duty and responsibility to protect your family. And that does not mean inviting a bunch of drunk people over for a fight, which that appears to be what happened. So you endangered your family through your own stupidity. And the trouble is, you're too stupid to really realize how stupid you are, and therefore, you're too stupid to realize that you put your family in danger. But let's go ahead and carry on with this stupidity, because you know what? It's going to get even dumber from here. So sit back and enjoy the ride. No, that's, that's Do you, really hey, your okay. opinion. Here's a question. From this incident that happened at the bar, would you have done things differently in hindsight? Absolutely. So you're learning from mistakes? I let the trolls win and caught two felonies because of it. Um, No, you gibbering idiot. Uh, You're now blaming others for your own incompetence. So that is a complete and total failure on your part. So you would not have done something different? Absolutely would have, yes. What would you have done so differently? I want to beat the fuck out of them at the bar. Do you think that? Do you? <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, come wait. on. Listen, listen don't pretend. Don't pretend Stop. like I didn't stand up to twelve or fourteen people in Stop. that video, face to face. One moment, one of please, them, everyone. You didn't learn anything. One moment. Do you think that getting into a physical altercation is and a grown up thing? Tickets. Listen. Do you think that room. people saying words to you? means that you should get into a physical confrontation with people you didn't you didn't see the video did you i did not i did do you think words I, equal I, getting into a physical altercation with people i will i will it's go a simple and, question i will go and relist that video so you can see the 453 minutes of that video i will no watch edit, it no edited content nothing like that and you can send go it to me it. yep S send it to me um, that, you, when they come out that, but you think dozen, Here's the, here's here's the thing. You're saying that what you would have done differently is get into a fist fight. That's yeah, what handled, you would have done. I would have handled it there and not on my property. I caught two yeah. felonies because this guy him. came to my house on my property. To but you invited him. him. How did you get two felonies? It doesn't matter. Listen, what does that make any difference? You yeah. invited him. And why you invite someone difference? to your house and they go there? It's your fault. Why does that make any difference? How did you get two felonies? How did you get two felonies from what were the felonies? Assault second and criminal possession of a weapon. So you what weapon? weapon? Qu just a quick question. What weapon did you have? Allegedly. What? what no, you're convicted. You it's not allegedly anymore. What? Uh, I'm what not, assault, I, listen, corrections. I'm not convicted yet, but what weapon did you allegedly have? A hockey stick. I guess it is New York. That makes sense. Field um, hockey stick. Carbon fiber field hockey stick. So you say, well, you're saying that the only thing you would have done different is is to get into a 
fist fight with people where you not are instead of at your house. Not brought it to my house, correct? You are not learning from your mistakes, sir. Listen, I'm a grown adult. They talk shit to me. Grown Call adults me sex do, offender. Listen, grown I have a question. Do definition. not get into physical altercations. I have a question. Up thing. Listen, I've never New York. in my life. Now, how would your family this. feel if, say, you stayed at the bar and you tried to beat them up, but they beat the crap out of you, you end up in the hospital almost or dead? Died. How would, have, Don't you think how this would affect your family? How they would be? Family. I'm a grown adult. I can handle myself. You can't care that like your family I, would be upset scared, by that. If I was scared, I would have ran home. He protests. You didn't go home. He no, told him to go either. Okay, because I am a grown okay, adult. Okay. Stood up to other grown adults. You've said you're a grown adult several times, but your actions do not dictate that. All right, whatever. Stop saying. All right. That. What did you do with a hockey stick, which is not traditionally a weapon? A hockey stick is that. It's a piece of sports equipment. What did you do with it to necessitate? Hang on. What did you do with a hockey stick for it to necessitate a criminal possession of a weapon? They claim that I hit him with it. Anything could be considered a weapon. with a hockey stick? You just got done bragging that, oh, I'd have beat them all up. Why would you get a hockey stick? I Do you normally I did. guess I, that I, way? I didn't say I did get a hockey stick. Allegedly. Look, the, no, the, no, no this, proof. There ain't nobody no in proof. here going to be on your jury. No proof. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. You, it doesn't matter. You asked you ask for my there opinion. There is witness statements, is there not? No. So they just made up that you had a hockey stick? He, he signed a statement. He's got Okay, so that's a witness. Head. Oh my goodness, the stupidity is real with this guy. I mean, I didn't think it was possible for anybody to be this freaking dumb. You, you understand that if somebody signs a witness, if somebody signs a witness statement, they are a witness. My word versus. That wasn't the question. There's witnesses. The word salad. If you're going to be here, you need to man up. You need to answer. Don't don't look. This is not the crowd that you're going to play the, the word salad. You may play on a rookie police officer and be able to confuse him enough so that you can dip out without pissing somebody off. This isn't the crowd. I don't run away. Well, I don't run away. Let me ask you this. Why does it I've even, been to that why bar every day? Okay, hang on, hang on. Why do you need to cause so much conflict? That your standard is, I don't run away. Why should it even be a standard? Where was I? Con con you, you, you see one video on my channel where I initiated co a conflict. Out of yeah, you initiated videos. it with a bar full of people drinking, and, and then they, you told them to come to your house. And they started. Let me ask you this. Me. Let me ask you this. Me, if, let me ask you this. If you hadn't had your camera on them, you were started oh. filming across the street from the bar, and then when people started noticing you, you decided to oh. They okay, I'll give you some import to the live stream clickbait. You're not fucking listening. It started days before the bar. The harassment from them happened days before I ever was down there. What so happened days before? So you went back before? to the bar with your camera on live stream looking for what? Payback? I want to know what happened days before. What 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 prompted this? Go yeah, back to the beginning. With, with the other bar. The other bar across the road. Like I said, what had happened was the, uh, I believe, I want to say the third day we lived here. I went for my walk downtown. I went to the post office, did my audit there without a problem. I went to the village office. I actually got a tour of the village office and mm -hmm. the museum from the mayor himself. Um, all great interactions. Um, I went to go home. There was an older lady out front of the last call. Like I said, on that corner, there's two bars. The Hoover mm -hmm. and the last call. There was an older lady who was trying to talk to me. I walked across the road to see what she, you know, what her concern was, what she mm -hmm. wanted. She instantly attacked, posting pictures were, of her grandchild. Were you filming her? No, I, I my camera was in front of me. Absolutely correct. She didn't say a word about my camera filming her. Nothing like that. So what did she, she attack you for? Her. What did she? What did she attack? Uh, you like for? I said, she was claiming that I was posting pictures of her grandchild. Mm. Uh, never happened. She was claiming that I was posting pictures. She was crying about the two pictures I posted of my security cameras that mm. show the house across the road. Like I said, the owner of the bar is the lady that lives across the road. Um, why would you release those pictures? It's it's why interesting to me that you have security cameras, yet there's no um, evidence of you getting into a fight in front of your house. What happened to because that security footage? They don't show it. They only show the road. 
The, yeah, yeah, the, say, wait, hold on one second. The fight, the guy that came to my house after mm -hmm. being drunk at the bar mm -hmm. is online. <laughs> it is recorded. There is evidence of all of that. Oh, it's all know. recorded. Oh. So did you give that to the police so they would drop the charges? They already if, have it. If you did nothing wrong? They already have it. I never said it didn't do anything wrong. Well, Don't what's on us. what's on the camera? What happened? What, yeah, what, is there a hockey stick? I can't talk about that with Penny Court. If you want to come after court charges are taken care of, okay. we can discuss all that. All right. But if and if you don't understand the you know reasons why it no, should be discussed. Okay then. Like I said, I'm here telling you all that I'm not saying I didn't do anything wrong at all. Not saying that something didn't happen, that I don't deserve charges at least. Mm -hmm. But the two felonies is absolutely it's, ridiculous. It's interesting that you're saying you did do things wrong. And when I say, when I ask you, would you do something differently or was it worth it? You say that you would have gotten to more fights. Like no, I said I would have. I wouldn't have brought it. it brought it to my house. I wouldn't have let the tunnels come to my house. I Go ahead, Wes is trying to talk. It's his channel. Let him talk. Go ahead, Wes. I still don't understand. How did you get the two felonies? Who did you assault? One of the. So if you watched the bar video, Wes, there right. was a guy. He was probably one of the first that came out of the bar. He had um a uh, green green construction shirt on. You know, like the lime green, bright green. Are construction they trying shirt. to say that you assaulted them in that bar video? No, there's. He came to my house a, an hour after I left. After the cops left, I left. I want to say five minutes after the cops left, I went home. Uh -huh. um, another hour went by, and he showed up to my house. He came once, left, said he was going to get more or more more people. When he came back, there was two other vehicles following him, uh -huh. and I did go out with a weapon. I with thought you said it was alleged. Hitting him is allegedly. Gotcha. Okay. Do you, you think maybe it would have been a better idea to call the police when somebody was threatening you at your home? I did. You did call the police. They have a 40-minute response time. Is there a video on YouTube of him coming to your house? Absolutely. Not on YouTube. Where, Not where? on YouTube. It's on Facebook. But right, it I'm is, have is to find it, somebody send me a link it, to that. It, I want to see is, the bar video too. It so is private. You, so for You're people who don't know what's going on, you did an audit video at the bar. No, not an audit. I don't call it an audit. I don't well, call. You filmed a video at the bar. A bunch of guys got upset and they followed you home. And now you got two felonies for assault and having a weapon. Correct. All right. Would you Would I you be willing to, to let me see that video? Would you send it to me? Not until court's done. Like I said, it's on. Okay. It's private. I mean, I won't. I won't post it or anything. I just want to get an idea. Of, I, I'm talking about the bar. The bar as, video is as, private. As soon as my court's taken care of. It'll all be done. Two more. Okay. I still don't have a court date, so. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, upset. I've got one more question for you, and then that'll. And this is on behalf of one of my one of my subscribers and one of my fellow vets. And uh, he he's curious that did you ever refer to the global war on terror? Uh, did you ever refer to that as that we were murdering on his behalf? I have no idea what you're talking about. On whose behalf? That's that's the question. Did I have, you ever know clue. anything about uh, any of my brothers and sisters on the global war on terror? Did you I have ever no idea what you're talking about. That we were murdering. No clue what the war on terror is or oh, anything. Iraq and Afghanistan after 9-11, yeah. dude. Dude, seriously, come on now. Are you telling me that you went for a full 20 years without uh, hearing anything about the two wars we were involved in with Iraq and Afghanistan wars where a couple of our generations were sacrificing themselves for the good of our country. And you don't know anything about that. What were you living under a rock? No clue. You, what, like you, I said, I don't, what, I don't, I don't, like I don't I, think he's Iraq smart enough to know about yeah. the war on terror. <laughs> correct. Correct. I don't pretend to, to pretend to know all this stuff. Yeah, this guy is not that bright. But you're. Wait a minute. You, know, you, you don't pretend to know that stuff. What that stuff is is the history of our country. And secondly, how can you say I don't pretend to know that stuff? But then, with a straight face, I assume, come on a panel of educated people, and you want to say 
it, you're going out to educate He's others? Educating us. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, Let me tell you something. I don't you know anything, educate, but I'm going to teach. You have That's to be great. educated. The, the things that I teach yeah. may be small, but there's, it's still an education. Just because I don't know, like, the whole Constitution, just because I can't recite every amendment. Have you read the whole Constitution? Serious question. Have you no, read the I, entire I, thing? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> my, my channel is the first. My, my channel is about the first. Amendment. You can't make this stuff why up. To, why do I have to memorize the Constitution? Oh. In order I didn't to... say memorize it. I asked if you read it. Oh, I didn't ask if you memorize it. I don't have a memorize. I, I, I've asked if you read it. <laughs> not only reading it. I mean, well, you can read it and, and not understand it. Guy. So you need to read it and understand it correctly. You know, they, they hand know. out free so you, pocket constitutions at a number of places. I can get you in contact but, with some people. So, so you're telling me I have to know the whole constitution? No, I'm saying you need to read it. So the part that you're you teaching, you should know. Before you go educate others on them. Does that make sense? Oops, no, no you not at to, all. Okay, it doesn't make sense that you need serious, to know what you're teaching other people? I have a serious question for, for Upstate. What Jesus, is the most my bourbon bottle? What is the most recent thing that you've taught somebody or educated people on your channel? What's the most recent thing that you've educated somebody about? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, maybe I can't, not the most, what, anything. It doesn't have to be the most recent. What is anything that out, you've ever educated somebody on? I think you guys need to check out my channel before, like. Well, I think you need channel, to check your channel. You yeah. <laughs> you guys don't, even, channel. You guys don't me, need to know my videos, you know. But you guys tell are, me what you've educated people on. I can tell you all about my channel. I'll tell you what I talked about on my live stream tonight. Well, let's see. Uh, there's plenty of people that think that, you know, that I can't take their picture. That's that's an education, correct? I mean, it might be a, a small little thing, but mm -hmm. do you agree that I absolutely can go out in public and take pictures of whatever I want? I agree that legally you okay. are allowed to do and that and from public property if they are on public property. However, however... If you're taking pictures of people who don't want their pictures taken, you're being a dick. We live in a society. Well, yeah. but is we it live in a society. You have to have decency. But is it legal? Empathy. I Respect. just said it was legal. Okay. I just and said it was legal, but it's a dick is move. This, all these it's people. It's a dick move, and you don't respect other human you've beings. Never you seen do me, it. You've yeah. never seen me do that. Until the bar. Dude, it's Until not illegal for me to go piss in the corner of my mother's house. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. And I never said it wasn't. I never said it wasn't. That's called yeah, an analogy. Fun. Look, Epstate, that's called an analogy. Oh my God. Oh, my bad. That's where we compare things. Is. <laughs> this is insane. Wrangler, you have to stop using big words. He doesn't understand them. <laughs> yeah, but oh, I man. do, and that's what makes it funny. Uh, you're pretending that I said I was smart or something. But no, I'm just asking you about the First oh. Amendment. Oh, you're not pretending about being dumb. A hey, hey, corrections and Kate, y'all are Listen, old I'm enough smart to enough to be my brother. I'm news network to be, is anybody flashing back to the start of the lawnmower man? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, man. two questions. Can I ask two questions really quick? Yep. Go ahead, corrections. Oh, sorry. So, upstate, what's? The, can you tell me about the Third Amendment? Oh. He laughed. He rage quit. Uh, you know, he didn't rage quit. He ended up accidentally leaving the uh, room. So he'll be back here in just a moment. So hang tight and they'll let him back in. And you'll witness more of his stupidity. So have fun. Oh, hey, no. hey, hey, Kate. Brought it. hey, hey, guys, I just got a one of my one of my subscribers, Mike C goes, is this the guy from Office Space? He took my <laughs> <laughs> What did he expect by coming up here? I mean, I don't know what did he expect us to go. You're doing a great job. Please keep broadening. What did I was, he expect? I mean, I was trying to ask legitimate questions. He you didn't were. know the answers, you know. And then he just rage quit because he just hey, he knew he was making an ass of himself. I got a bounce, but could I please ask anybody who's watching right now to sub to my channel? Yes, ma'am. I will do that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 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 I am well, I'll send saying, you that video if it isn't. As I like to say, in the next run, seconds. don't walk, go subscribe. I will put it in this chat because I don't have it. Um, I'm not a 
what you call it, moderator. So hold on, let me find my channel. It's Katie Zed. It's just YouTube Katie Zed. Here, I'll put my solo. You get a free stapler. If you oh, can, I, I, didn't, I didn't quit. I didn't I didn't run away. I just okay. hit the wrong I button. Put the, so. I put the link to my solo, which has all of my links. If you could put that in the chat, that'd be great. I stream, I like I was saying earlier, I stream so I'm saying, I, Odyssey, I'm, 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 They went to the Boston Stapler. I'm saying I have two questions. <laughs> I'm saying I have two questions. The first question upstate is, what's the Third Amendment? Ask Elmo, if, if, you're, if you're a true constitutional scholar, ask Elmo would ask this of you. He's not a, he's not a true constitutional scholar. He doesn't even know. I, I bet he doesn't even know the Fourth Amendment. Come on. What's the, the Third Amendment? The first and the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I can drive 110 and a 55 as long as I've got Sweaty T's lunch in the back seat. Burgers, pizza, and pork chops. Uh, and the second question is, if you're monetized and you haven't made a dime off of YouTube, then why, instead of wasting your time with all this nonsense, why aren't you, yeah, as an eighth grade dropout, why aren't you working on your education and stuff to get a better job so that way you and your family aren't getting evicted? My family's not getting evicted. We went through one eviction, an illegal eviction that I won without a lawyer in court. And it's all posted. Every bit of that information about my eviction is posted publicly for everybody to see. So if you won, you wouldn't have been evicted. We were we moved because we already had a place in line in, in case we were kicked out. I kind of want to stick around place. for this part because I'm a landlord. <laughs> I, I can I can know. Uh, I'll turn my uh, camera on and show you guys all the whole eviction process if you want to. Yeah, all, let's do all it. Of it. Every bit of it. Oh, Are we going to see Cyrax time. now? Oh, oh God. <laughs> no, no. Look, I, no, I do not have – look, because of this this dumpster fire, I've already got a straw in my $300 bottle of bourbon, and I don't have <laughs> enough of that to have Cyrax. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see the problem. Man up from in from no, heaven. Big Listen. Yeah. No shit. I I have the Tito's vodka flowing strong right now. Of the freaking. If the government officials I record don't care, why do you guys? He knows just enough. To be what? <laughs> I'm ready. To to think he's knowledgeable. I said if the government officials that I'm out here recording stupid. do not care about my camera and have not said a word about me recording them, why do you guys care? Because your family is getting freaking. Evicted, my guy. Nothing to do with it. Work on your education. Get your GED. My do something. Family, my fa I have a GED. I really doubt that you have a GED, dude. Because if you would have had a GED, you would have already mentioned it before. Now, all you did was mention that you were an eighth grade dropout. Whenever anybody asks you what your highest level of education is, you generally say whatever it is that you obtained that is your highest level of education, whether it is dropout, high school, GED, associates, bachelor's, master's, PhD, you always list your top credentials first. Case in point, my own father he was a high school dropout, but he ended up getting his GED and two associate's degrees. He lists those associate's degrees on every one of his resumes. As I list my bachelor's degree on every one of my resumes. So if you have a GED, go ahead and say you have a GED and be proud of it. Just don't say I'm an eighth grade dropout and not even mention your uh, GED because that just shows you're not even proud of that. As if you are more proud of being a dropout than somebody who actually attained your GED. At any rate, I am willing to bet that you don't even know what the hell a GED is to begin with. So let's go ahead and carry on with this stupidity. Listen, if I'm smart enough to provide for my family, what more is there? You you need to protect your family. My family you're not if you're getting evicted. Not under, it, you're not we protecting them if you tell them people eviction. to go there and fight you. One eviction in 18 years wait, of renting. Exactly. Wait, wait. Exactly. 
an illegal eviction. They okay, so tell me about the tell me about this eviction. Why? How was it illegal? What happened? They what, did they, me, what was their side of the story? Within nine days, we had nine violations. What violations? All for the same thing. For what? They, for recording. <laughs> With, listen, their the the violation <laughs> literally has the words on their premises <laughs> and in their neighborhood. They said I was in their neighborhood mm -hmm. recording in mm -hmm. the housing that we lived in recording, which is false. The video is public and I was um, like a mile away from their property. It had nothing to do with their housing or anything. They had no legal reason for giving me that violation that clearly states in their neighborhood. What does and your lease say, shut, dude? Court shut it down. What does what did is there anything in your lease about it? About recording off their property? No. About recording oh, hey, on I just their got, property. Hey, I just got informed by one of my one of my uh, subscribers. I wasn't Apparently, recording. The on Third the Amendment is don't take my effing stapler. <laughs> <laughs> so you were Mike a victim. C, you were a savage, savage man. You were evicted for recording. Yes, allegedly on their property. And the video is posted, and I was a mile away from their property. I don't think the word allegedly means what you think it means. You keep, you, you keep saying it a lot. Were you recording? On their property? I didn't say on their property. Were you recording? Yeah, I, I made a video. <laughs> that had nothing to do with their housing. So why does so that make me Daniel? Did they ask you to stop? They said don't record anymore, and you recorded again. No, nine nine times is what I heard. No, no, not at all. You want to see? The, like I said, I will show you the paperwork. Put your camera on, bro. And I'll send it to you. How about that? All right. He didn't clean up his house today. He doesn't want to turn his camera on. I just don't know where the paperwork is. Okay. Uh, yeah, he doesn't know where the paperwork is at because you know what? It doesn't exist. He's lying once again. Give me the file. I'll find it for you. Just because. Hey, big West. Hey, buddy. I'm going to jump off here and I'm going to go back and uh, finish this uh, uh, this live stream on mine. Yeah. And, uh, if you find that video, Wrangler, send it to me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and and solo.to, the... my yeah, Twitter and everything's Wrangler. in there. You could you can get a hold you want, of me. You Thank you, see see Look, man. The only reason that I, I decided to stick in here after you came up was over something you said this weekend and i don't know if you're aware of this but the reason that i'm doing my live tonight was a memorial and uh so just a good time wait for a sheriff's deputy by the name of josh owens from pope county minnesota where he was he was murdered last night and two local officers that were responding to a domestic with him were also shot and hospitalized and you know and then I think about that, and then I think about what you actually said on my on on my subscribers channel this weekend. And I believe your first words out of your mouth was, "Oh, it's been a good day. I'm doing good. I just got to watch six cops lose their job." No, see, that's where you're putting words in my mouth. I never said. I that. didn't do that. It's not that a comment. quote. Go find it's a that direct comment. Quote exactly it what you for said. Words. That is not exactly what I said. You're putting extra words in my statement. What do you think you said? I said, good day. Six cops got fired. Word for word. Oh, why, my why God. Why did you say that? They're in the hospital. Your use of words matter, dude. I mean, that what sentence you just stated indicates, well, that you're happy that those cops were put in the hospital. You may not have intended it, but that's the way it came out. And since you wrote it down on the uh, comment, you still had the ability to take it back before anybody saw it, if you had noticed it to begin with. But apparently you're too stupid to figure it out. Dude. I didn't say I was happy that they got... Uh, wait, no. You said good day. They got fired had to do with the hospital. So I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, Wrangler just said that there's cops that in hospital. the hospital and one of them died. That has nothing to do with what Wrangler said at all. The, none, he's, I don't even know what he said about a hospital. I said, then why are you talking? That had Frank, nothing to did do you just, with what Wrangler I'm sorry. Said. Did you just say that a, that you're doing oh a memorial God. for a dead cop and yeah. there's other cops in a hospital? Did I mishear that? That has nothing to do with my statement is what I'm saying. 
No, He's I conveyed that your statement talent, pissed me off. Different ways. Correct. No, I conveyed your that's statement that you made about the six cops losing their job pissed me off. But you put words in my mouth in my statement I never said. That's the did problem. You, did, okay. Did you say, I'm having a good day? No, six I cops said, lost their job. I said, I said, good day, six cops lost their job. That's what I said. You finally got my statement correct. You have listed my state or said my statement how many times? Dozen of times by now. And you keep adding words to good my Good day, six cops. Dude, even if I did at, uh, get and, an, and a I word wrong on it, I didn't lose the essence. The essence is, is you were happy six cops lost their job. I mentioned so some way facts you that six cops them. lost their job that has nothing to do with me. Nothing I did for them. So why was it a good job. day? Why did you put? Why did you preface it with "good day"? Because the cops, the reasons why the cops got fired. Why did the cops get fired? Well, it's all on my stream. <laughs> This is a joke. I'm not going, one, I'm not going back one, and watching cop. hours of live stream to find whatever the heck okay. you're saying. Hey, hey for FN one, lawyer. Hey, you've been a you FN lawyer. You've been a, an attorney since the damn late sixties. Question. Let, let me speak. Can I civilly sue somebody for saying shit so dumb I lose IQ points? I mean no Wrangler. I don't even claim to be a constitutional educator, and I know what the thirteenth amendment is. <laughs> I never said I was a constitutional educator. You just said you I were said educating I people. People on things. Okay. Hey, 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 I mean, does anybody remember what the name of that police officer that died was? Was it Josh Owens? Is that what he said? It is, I, I just want to. I'm going to pray for that man's a, family. So. Bag of hammers, but I um, through the hammers. Sorry, did you not say that you were trying to educate people on the Constitution? Nope, that's not what I said. I said I educate. I, I try to educate people, but I just didn't know about the Constitution. Now I now the First Amendment applies with some of the education. You know that the Absolutely. First right. Amendment is part of oh the Constitution. God. Yeah. Hey, BK, hit Paul. <laughs> yeah, right, one part. Of it, one part. Of it. And what's the bill of rights i also educate people about the full uh, lawyer process i know what's I the bill of rights you know, there's all, all kinds of different types of education it doesn't all have to be the constitution there's policy policy and procedures stuff mm. like that so okay upstate what's very, upstate great. what's what's the bill I'm of gonna rights go. i'm gonna go thank you very much for having me wes Upstate, no it was Thank very you nice meeting you, you Fraud News Network. I'm going to be on your show in a few weeks. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm on show the violation, the least violation. And Corrections 101. Katie, you are so awesome. You seem like a yeah. You seem like a wonderful gal. So nice to meet Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'll jump on again sometime if I'm in here. <laughs> Bye, Thank guys. So yeah. I, mean, I, ever need, I love moderating debates. So if you ever need a moderator, hit me up. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. So you did a great job. All right. Bye. <laughs> All right, hey Wrangler wow. fans. All right, right, I guess I'm, I'm just gonna be out. I guess I don't know. I don't know what. Hey, hey, if someone wants to talk to you on my live. There's someone that wants to come in here and talk to you. You got a couple more minutes. I have all night, actually. I mean, but okay, so. yeah, it's the, not the, like you get up for work though. Like you guys are keep coming at me. Like, <laughs> look, I don't know who this. I don't is. even know how to all handle it. Subscribers, they, they <laughs> named their name Upstate's daddy. Just a second here, Upstate. Just out of curiosity, what's the Bill of Rights? <laughs> Can't tell you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Listen, show me one time I said I was smart or that I knew this stuff. I don't at all. I'm learning this stuff. Well, you're claiming Listen, I went back in the Constitution. I, I didn't grow up with the Constitution the in my right life or grow up amendment. with then why you know all that it? crap or whatever. Like I'm just now learning it. Just now learning it. Hey, um, you know, I've wanted to ask you a question for a long time there, Upstate. By the way, this is Jeff Despise Frauditors, otherwise known as uh, Upstate New York's daddy. So uh, <laughs> oh, one of the things I wanted to ask you about is this little comment that you made the other day where you went to the hospital because, what was it? You got injured filming? What was the situation in that? 
I mean, not the other day. It was actually like today, but. <laughs> okay, well, elaborate. What happened? Uh, well, it's all live stream. Yeah, I don't really pay it's attention it. to your live streams. It's not really that uh, <laughs> relevant to me, but walk me through. <laughs> I was attacked. No, I was pushed. Yeah, oh, well, you, you said that, but what led up to you being attacked is what I want to know. So the kid came out of the bar uh, claiming that I was recording children and that I was recording him. Uh, he was is not this the on. same bar? Correct. So you went back to the same bar, initiated more conflict, no, and uh, ended up in the hospital. Is that what no, you're telling me? No, I walked the block. I you walked go, I, didn't, the block. I didn't go to the bar. I wasn't well, you just said that's what happened. That it came from the bar. He came out of the bar. But I wasn't at the bar recording. Okay. So uh, where did this uh, assault on you occur then? Out by the, the uh, library. That's all I was doing. Like I said, the, the, the thing is, so. Was there some corruption going across, on at the library you were covering or what? When I came across the intersection and walked past the bar, past the porch or whatever, he asked me a question about why I was out recording. And he wasn't even on my camera. My camera was pointing at the huh. sidewalk. And then, uh, I want to say 10 minutes West, later, uh, uh, he came wow. going across the road you, you, you where I was standing at the library, life. claiming that I was recording I'm, I'm him. Talk about the fraud not Take in mind, he's not on my camera <laughs> at that time at all, period. This guy hit it very that I was recording children, not on my Were camera, you? not on my stream. I gotta stream say, there's a lot all. of holes in your stories, man, and I'm just... It's, I, it's, all, on. it's all on video, bud. You can claim there's holes, whatever you want. It's all on video. Like I say, mm -hmm. he claimed I was recording him. He claimed I was recording children. There's no children on that video. The only time he was on that video was when he came running across the road to attack me. And then he became on my video. But he cried. The whole reason he came running across the road towards me was because he said I was recording him. And he is not on my video. And you don't think this mirrors the quote-unquote first assault that you had uh, with the bar? first assault i didn't have a first assault you know when you defended yourself with your semi-auto hockey stick that's the one i'm referring to <laughs> i'm not sure what that has to do with, I'm not sure what that has to do with anything what totally different people, more is totally how different you touch two felonies with the hockey stick and no 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 i'm asking like how does how do you do that did you hit him like what did you do exactly allegedly i hit him Okay, well, what did you allegedly, you hit him in the head? I mean, there are certain places Correct. you can hit people where you can catch a felony. Correct. What did you do specifically? So, supposedly I hit him with it. I mean, what what more is there? Like, I'm not sure what you're trying to get. The charges well, are... Where do you get more specific? Do you have a police uh, report on this and a report number that we could nope. review? Nothing at all yet. I don't no. even have a court so date. They I, I, didn't show up. They didn't take your information or anything else mm -hmm. like that. They didn't they get a statement with from two me. Out of they, didn't get, they didn't get a statement from me. They didn't. They didn't get a statement from me. They didn't get a statement from me. How were they able to charge you without your information? Based on the information that they had, the, the man has staples in his head. That had your name, address, social security. Because when you catch charges, that's typically what goes along with it. It's live streamed, it was. Ah, okay. I see exactly. I said that it was live streamed. <laughs> the whole incident was live streamed. The, the, the fight, the actual. But you actually said that your security cameras didn't catch that interaction, remember? Correct. Correct. I did say that. My security cameras. So, how could we have camera. gotten your personal information from the interaction that wasn't captured on your security cameras? You can't let me speak. We're not going to get nowhere. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Please. Enlighten my me. security camera that are on the second floor of my apartment did not catch it. Correct. I did say that. They do not show my front yard. They show the road past the sidewalk. But that's not the only camera that was rolling. I was live streaming the whole time the man showed up to my house. It does not show the altercation. We were off camera. The, the sound is still there, and that's how they base their information. They had enough evidence to charge me and make me fight my charges in court. Hmm, interesting. So a guy goes to your house after you give him your address, assaults you, I quote, unquote, I didn't give him my address. 
interesting. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna come with wrong information, you're not gonna get no worse. I didn't give him my no, address. no, no. I'm just actually reciting the information you've given us so far. No, I never said I gave him my address. But the other thing that I am curious about, you didn't need about, to because they knew where you lived anyway. Exactly. <laughs> so it's the but same the other, thing as giving them your address. You knew and if they knew where you no, live. Me giving them my address is me literally, you know, giving them my address. Them already. But you know. knew that they knew where you live, so that's why you didn't give them your address. I don't care. Well, they already matter. have matter your you information with the criminal oh. record. What's that? Do they already have your information on prior criminal uh, offenses? Is that how they found out? According to um, fraudologist files and a fraud control, I have no criminal record. Okay, then how would the police oh, yeah. have uh, charged you with two felonies? That's that's the part that I'm exactly. lost on. Exactly. I'm not saying I don't have a criminal record. I'm just saying that, you know, a couple of the biggest channels out there. They're fired. You're not, you claim you they know, have you're not very good at this. I got to tell you. I never claimed I was. Do you think maybe it's time to change up your profession? Not at all. My profession? <laughs> And what's I'm tickled to hear you what, say that. I gotta tell you, what's my profession? You know, being a crayon muncher was an actual what fucking profession. Then the, again, from the dimes I make off, the dimes I guess I make, you uh, own a pet store too, right? The dimes I make off of YouTube is my profession. No, no, no. I'm just curious. Yeah. You said you also owned a pet store at one point. I I breed reptiles. Mm, okay. So is that how are you, you a reptile? Trident Exotics is my reptile business name. I would maybe have withheld that information, especially with all those trolls out in the. It, it, doesn't, you know? it, it doesn't it's matter. The trolls. It's the trolls. I, I don't have nothing to hide. Why? Why okay. would it? Why would I be afraid of giving my business name out there? Well, I don't think it's gonna help your business much, but nonetheless, you you wouldn't know but, where to find my business. I really wouldn't have an interest in finding your business if I'm being exactly. completely honest. Well, I mean, well, you just mentioned that, you know, I couldn't give that information out, but there's reasons why. Well, with all the trolls in the woods, like I said, probably it wouldn't matter. It don't matter. With you. It, it, I'm, not, I'm not worried. But anyway, uh, I, I the other question hours, that I, I, I want to cover with month. you is when all this stuff happens, why do you go to Wrangler's channel? You go to Frauder Trolls channel? And uh, I would say brag about your whatever's going on with you and the I police. I, I, I brag about it? Yeah. Listen, yeah. I go into the chats, and if people have questions or concerns, fraud of the Wrangler, for one, he blocked me you everything. Right now, he blocked me everything. You're going into a forest fire with a cup of water as far as our questions or interests in what you do. You can't even let me speak. Oh, I'm sorry. Please go ahead. I said fraud of the Wrangler for one. He blocks me every single time I comment, claiming that, that I attack long. his members or his followers. And I've never once attacked anybody. Everybody's always in his chat room or in his chat, in his live chat, claiming that no one cares about my opinion or doesn't want me to talk. Yet people are having trying to have conversations with me. People are trying to ask me questions and I'm replying to these people. And then I get blocked. Claiming that I attacked somebody. I mean, he's a fucking troll. I'm sorry. Repeat that last part. <laughs> he's a troll. <laughs> I, my internet connection is terrible. Could you say that it's, last part one more time? For literally me? trying, <laughs> claiming that I'm attacking these people. Yeah, I've never once done that. Well, I mean, you're going into a, you know, a community that actually supports police and are against frauditors. Uh, you're going to get that reaction. You know, I'm yeah, sorry to admit this to you. You guys, you guys keep calling me frauder, but you can't come at me about an actual auditing video. Well, maybe you're not necessarily a frauder, but you're an agitator. Would, would you say agitator. that's in the ballpark? No, not at all. One time I went out in public and stuck up for myself because of these people calling me sex offenders. And you guys are literally, that's the only thing you guys can come at me about is the bar videos. I, because I, am, a grown man. Bring it up. I am a grown man. Who stood up for myself against another mo multiple grown men? There was at least fourteen of them in that one bar video that I stood face to face with, standing up for myself. And you guys are literally, you know, attacking me and my channel because of that one video. Well, uh, so I got a I got a question from Wrangler. He just messaged me. He wants to know if your family uh, tree forks. 
Air fit branches. <laughs> that what? Does your family tree branch? Tree branch. I don't know what that means. <laughs> of course you don't. You don't have the intelligence to understand what that means. So let me put it in simpler terms for you. Do you keep it all in the family? In other words, is your girlfriend actually, well, your sister? Or maybe uh, your brother is also your father uh, or something like, like that? Yes, oh my dear it. lord! Let me, let me reinterpret this question. <laughs> um, are you the only one of your mother and sisters, or excuse me, mother and father's children that survived? Do you understand what that means? Yeah, we, I have a brother and two sisters. None of us grew up with each other. None of us grew up with our parents. Period. I, Do I, you I have a sister wife? Someone <laughs> <laughs> thinks they're hilarious. Are you kind of catching Mike what we're Z, putting down uh, here? His mind Not at all. <laughs> Oh, Why don't Jesus. you just be out with it? Why don't you just say what you want to say and not beat around the bush about it? Are you man, instead of going sister? down the block to get laid? Do you go down the hallway to your sister's room? <laughs> yeah, see, now you're just being yeah. ignorant about shit because you can't come at me correctly. You asked us to dumb it down for you. I don't know how much more we can do that for you. Right? You, exactly. You're just, you're just coming at me ignorantly about it, things, though. You can't even come at me like correct, like. <laughs> It's it's sad. It really is. How uh, tall are you? You're gonna try to make stupid uh, comments like my sister or some shit. Like, I've said, how tall are you? Five eight. How, how much do you weigh? weigh? Two ten. Five eight two ten. Yeah. Okay. A little, over, a little overweight. And you're an eighth grade like, dropout. What? Well, yeah. Correct. Been on my own for 18 years. Me and my girlfriend alone have been in our own apartment for 10 years supporting three children. With no government well, assistance. With no government assistance. Well, no, so you haven't been in an apartment for 10 years because you just got evicted not too long ago. Listen, we have. I said we have been on our own for 10 years. I didn't say we've been in the same apartment for 10 years. Yeah, so there, good there question. Go, Instead of keeping it in your pants, do you keep it in the family? <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I mean, do you keep it in your family? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we know it's a small town, but there's got to be limits, man. This you is like keep, the hills have eyes stuff. You guys keep acting like it's, I'm in a small area, and I'm not. I'm not in a small area. That don't, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. I mean, well, that's where I'm going to end it for now, but I will pick it up in a, another one tomorrow because this whole thing was well over two hours long. But so far, it is enough to capture the essence of this guy's, well, uh, quite low IQ anyway. I mean, uh, it is frighteningly low. If I had to create a tier list of frauders based on their intelligence, this guy would most certainly be at the bottom of that tier list. He would be on the F tier. And uh, if I had to put somebody on the top, it would either be uh, Sean Paul Reyes or uh, Christopher Cordova, maybe even uh, Josh Abrams, or they could all be on the top of that list. And... Uh, well, other frauditors would start in descending order all the way down to this guy who is definitely on the very bottom of the intelligence pile. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.